Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki, uh, doing a new line of LPs. Uh, this will be uh, Army Man World at War for uh, PS1. I uh, originally had said in a test video that I wasn't going to bother, but then I decided uh, I was going to. Um, due to my r recording issues of non-line-in recording, uh, I won't be doing any movies, and I don't think there is any movies for the uh, PS1 version other than the intro. Uh, I know there's some for the PC. Also, don't confuse this series for uh, Army Man World War, which is a top-down view, uh, strat-based RPG. I mean, yeah, RTS type game. Uh, also, this one is without Sarge. Uh, the guy here, they call him as, uh, just basically just call him Green. You can give him any name you want to. Uh, the Sarge is not involved in this. And in this one, he's a private. Uh, as you advance along through the uh, World at War series, uh, they do level up, they do uh, rank him up. Uh, and uh, Unfortunately, due to, due to my emulator having massive loading screens, I uh, can't really uh, kind of go into the titles and whatnot to uh, kind of show them off. And my emulator has my uh, memory stick at full, so I can't show rank progression either. Uh, but right now, he's showing as a private. Uh, for the, This is the first mission. Uh, basically, he's uh, trying to... Uh, make his presence less known and uh, taking out enemy communications uh, behind the lines and uh, basically like a one-man insertion sort of thing to do some sabotage operations but there isn't much detail about what's going on other than he ha other than in this current mission he has to take out a radio Uh, as the gameplay here is a bit different uh, than uh, Sarge's Heroes line of games, uh, as well as different from the uh, Army Man 3D, which is the very first uh, PS1 game. Uh, basically, uh, in this one, he can he can crouch, he can dive, he can roll, uh, he can strafe. He can aim his gun a lot better. Uh, they don't have it where he can move and aim, though. Uh, that's a feature that comes in later on uh, in the World of War series. Uh, he can also, like I say, he can dive. He can do back attacks. He can. Uh, he has binos. Uh, he also has a bayonet. Uh, so. Basically, those are the more different and new features uh, for this series of games. And uh, I can't promise that I'll do LPs of all the uh, World at War series games. Uh, more out of the fact that some of the missions are rather annoying and complicated when you get near the uh, team assault and the... Uh, final assault things uh, where you have to actually do some more uh, defensive stuff rather than attacking stuff and uh, it'll be it'll just be long repetitive of me failing over and over again so uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to go that far along the series line uh, what kind of sparked me for doing this series is uh, that well since I'm doing a uh, Pretty much Army Man uh, B-17 bomber moment, uh, which is one of the key things for the World at War series, is that it actually focuses not just on ground, but has uh, air elements, sea elements, and uh, kind of gives a little bit more of a worldly aspect to it, rather than just your plop there in some uh, portal device that has, goes from their world to our world, like they did in the Sergeant's Heroes series. This one, they, they keep it 
all focused uh, in their end of the world. Um, also, uh, more about this. Uh, also, I, I have to make a correction on the team assault. Uh, I thought that Bullseye was there. He is not there. However, there is a possible character reference of uh, one of the uh, army men, uh, the Green Rogue. Uh, his name is uh, Shadow or something to that effect. Uh, he might be a crossover reference for the Sergeant Zero's line. And uh, uh, that one, I don't know if that's an Easter egg or if that, or what's going on with that character, but that's the only one I can see that might have some resemblance to some crossover. Or I might be completely wrong. If somebody wants to correct me, that's fine. I'm just going based off of uh, general assumptions. Uh, also, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show off uh, more of the uh, lesser known aspects. Uh, generally, people n most notably know the PC or the uh, N64 versions and the Sarge's Heroes line. And uh, this uh, series of games was highly underrated and uh, a little bit underappreciated. I think that if this had more fandom, this actually, this series of game actually could have sparked an M, uh, you know, one of those uh, first-person shooter MMOs. Uh, and I'll be doing a series of videos ex just showing all all the vehicles that from from the PS1 line that were just totally thrown off the map for no rhyme or reason. Uh, we're on a radio now, and. Uh, the mission here is to blow it up, so me thinking silly, I think that I might need some TNT or something, but I could be just overthinking this. Uh, or I could just need some hand grenades or something, and I didn't really pick up anything, so I'm just going to take a look see around. Uh, the problem with this uh, series is it's darker. Uh, and I also think that maybe if I shoot the radio, it might blow up. Uh, maybe I'm just not shooting it close enough or something. I don't know. But anyway, the the uh, textural background is too dark, uh, and I had to brighten it up some. And it does become a problem uh, later on. Uh, it does make the tan stick out a bit easier, though. Also, I'm doing this on easy difficulty, just kind of to show off. I'm not doing, I'm not a hardcore gamer, and I'm playing this off keyboard, so I can't use the L2 and R1 and R2 and L1 buttons all at once, like this game kind of intends you to use. So I just kind of, kind of gave myself a handicap of uh, making it a little bit easier for myself. Anyway, well, I can't find any grenades, so the only other method I can think of is just standing right next to it and just letting it, ha letting it have it. Uh, basically, yeah, thinking that I'm overthinking it, so maybe just getting over there and shooting it would kill it off. Well, let's see if we can get over there. That's the other thing, is just bad camera. Anyway, this is Bikini signing out for uh, Army Man World at War Part 1. Thank you.